Hi, this is Girls Rock, and I'm going to show you how to make some tea party things, which you can see right here. Well, who, Erin? Your American girls, bitty twins, or bitty babies. First, we have this mug tea cup. I made them. We have a saucer under it, which is like a, like a little placemat type of thingy. And next, we have this cake with a cherry on it, and it has light purple icing and dark purple in the middle. Next, we have this yummy cheese sandwich. has cheese right there and lettuce right there. Then the last thing I'm going to show you how to make is just this cupcake with cherry and purple icing. And then I'll show you how to make that little thing that you put the cupcakes in. First, I'm going to show you how to make the mug and then I'll show you how to make the saucer. First, for the saucer, you're going to just Take a piece of your Play-Doh, and you're going to roll it in the ball to make it nice and smooth. Is this for the cup, Erin? Yeah, for the mug. Okay. Right there. Mm -hmm. A teacup. First, you're going to roll in the ball. We're going to do that for every one to start, because we want to make it nice and smooth and pretty, right? Because it's basically a tea party. Tea parties are usually pretty and smooth. So when you're done rolling a ball, if it's big, I suggest your thumb. If it's small, I just suggest your pinky. Because um, if you use your thumb for that, then it'll probably take up all the room and you'll smash a big hole in there. And if it's too big, like that big, and you put your pinky in, then it'll be too small. So I suggest pinky for the small and the thumb for the big. Because the thumb's bigger than the pinky. So you're going to roll your ball. And I'm gonna, my, since mine's small, I'm going to put my pinky in. And then take it out carefully. It's like a donut, kind of. Then you're going to rip off a piece of, another piece of your Play-Doh, small one. And you're going to roll it like a snake. And then you're going to do a little handle. If you want to actually go in your doll's hand, then you can make a bigger bite. I just made mine kind of small. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the saucer, which is pretty easy, which you can see. But um, I didn't add decorations, but I am, but I didn't yet. If you want to, you can, but I didn't. And I'm not going to sh show the decorations and stuff, but if you want to add it, you can. So you're going to roll a ball first. Next, you're going to kind of smush it one side. Two side, three, and four. And that's how you make the saucer. And you make the little mug. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the cake. For the cake, you're going to rip a piece of Play Doh on. You're going to roll it in a ball as usual. And you're going to press one side, two, three, and four. And then you're you're going to press down there, down here, and on the sides, like a square for the bottom. You're going to kind of make it flat, kind of for the bottom, kind of. And then you're going to make it kind of bigger, or maybe it'll kind of smaller for like a cake. But I think bigger, so I'm going to do my bigger. I'm going to roll the ball. And then one side, two side, three, and four. And then you're going to do that side, that side, that side, and the bottom. Like a square. Then, I'm going to put that one on top. Next. I'm going to do the last part, which is going to be the biggest, which is Could this Did you use different colors, Erin? Yeah. So you're going to roll the ball. And then, when you're done rolling the ball, then you're, this is going to be bigger. And then you're going to do that side, that side, that side, and that side. And then... You might want to do it a little more to make it kind of bigger. And then you'll do it there, there, there. Then you'll put it on the top. And then you can add a little cherry if you want. 
Why don't we add another color? That's what I'm doing. The cherry. For the little cake. Next, we're going to do the cheese sandwich. First, we're going to take some orange Play-Doh. And we're going to roll it in the ball. And do those four things, the um, four sides, like we did for the cake. And then we're going to do the square thing, also like the cake. And then we're going to do another one of those. Roll the ball. Press down, one, two, three, four, and like this. That's going to be for the bread. Then you use for the cheese. I used. You're going to take some yellow Play Doh and you're going to roll it into the ball and then you're just going to press down that time. But not too big because you want it to fit in your sandwich. So you're going to put that right there. And if you want lettuce, which I did, which you can see the lettuce, I'll show you how to make that. You're going to take a, maybe if, if you want, you can hit green. But I'm doing kind of a blue color, so if you want to do like a blue color like me, you can if you have a blue color. First, you're going to roll a ball and then press down a little. But if you do it kind of big like mine, you might want to kind of square it out. Press a little down. Then you're going to put that on top of that cheese. And then... I'll press down a little. Ta-da! Not too much because you want to see the cheese lettuce. Now the last thing I'm going to show you how to make is the cupcake. You're going to take some orange. Well, you need like that big of orange, maybe piece or something. You're going to roll a ball. And then you're going to Shape there, there. Next, you're going to take a different color, the color you want for your icing, which I'm going to do with this dark blue color. You're going to roll in the ball and kind of press down and put it on there. And then for the cherry, just take a little piece a little ball, which you would probably know. And then you put it on top. Ta-da! Thank you for watching. Bye!